Hey Libras, Island Turtle here. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, keep in mind these readings are timeless and general. If you were drawn to be here, then you were drawn to be here. Uh, there's a part two if you want to dive deeper with me over on Patreon and Vimeo. Links are below for your convenience. Also, if any of you are interested in Patreon, just know that right now it has early access to the weeklies listed as a benefit. I am changing that to Talking Circles, but I'm waiting for my team to give me the green light on the day, and I know it'll be after the new moon in Aries, so I'm just, you know, I'm just going with the flow there, but I wanted you guys to know, okay? All right, Libra, let's go ahead and get started. And speaking of the eclipse, you know, we are literally on the precipice of Aries eclipse after your eclipse, so I know you're feeling it. I know you're feeling it, and because it has been in Libra, I'm sure a lot of you have been dealing with relationships or patterns of um, that have occurred because of relationships within relationships, but let's go ahead and get into this. I am definitely, I'm going to start with the spellcasting deck. Sorry, I was like, Blech, just ready to channel at you starting with the spell casting deck all the decks that I use are linked below um Libra I already feel like I'm way in the heart with you okay um you, you definitely got some emotions going on but that's not a bad thing I think it's a beautiful thing and I do think it's about family actually very specifically I think it's about family you could be missing someone the importance of family as a value is something you could be contemplating right now don't mind that noise. That's Clydester. Any messages or insights for my Libras? What's going on for my Libras? <coughs> Libras. Yeah, it's like very somber. But I feel like you're just very nostalgic right now. Mm, interesting courage. I feel like you're trying to find courage right now. I feel like you're working your way into courage right now. Some of you, I think, have ebbed and flowed with anger. <clears throat> I'm going to take that as a yes. <laughs> ooh, 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 Libra. If you've had waves of anger, also, you're not alone with all this crazy energy, including Mercury, Retrograde, and Aries. It's pretty par for the course for a lot of us. Um, the anger was really just a telltale sign as to what was really going on with you or what was really coming up in the heart, I want to say. What was really coming up in the heart that wanted recognition and I keep getting it has to do with family or the idea of family or family units or connection to that feeling of emotional stability with family. Very Cancer vibes there. Um, well, that is a sister cardinal sign. But with courage, with courage, I feel like this is the next step the waves of anger really leading you to what your true emotions really are around all of this. And that will lead you to have the courage to do something about those feelings. Okay. Keep in mind because this general is to be about someone you know it doesn't have to be you. You know, it's, I'm mostly just going to give you a little tangent right here. Um, so I did Sag. And ever, after I do a, a sign, I like to take a little break. Wait, am I taking these? No. Okay. Um, after I do a sign, I like to take a break before I dive into another sign. And my, my team was saying, um, it's a, I thought the walls just got hit or something. Um, hold on. Clyde, Clyde, hey, Bubby, Bubby, come here. It's okay. He's been out of sorts because he hasn't been well. But um, they said with the readings that I've been doing that it's okay to, bring it back down, like out of like, cause my, my, the readings that I do, I feel like I get very macro and they're saying like, come back to micro. So I don't know. I just wanted to share that with you, Libra, but maybe there's something about that for you too. Like maybe getting more into, um, yeah, maybe almost like not being so big picture, but like, it's okay to honor, like what's like, just like the minute things of what's going on with you emotionally, or even just like one connection at a time. Um, there's something about that, but anyway, courage. Anything else for my Librans? Yeah, lighten your load. I really feel like it's about lighten, lighten your heart is really what that feels like to me for you. Some of you, this is about needing to ask for help. Having the courage to say, hey, I need more support. I need more family support. I need more emotional support. I can't, I can't, I can't carry this on my own the way I have, or I can't carry this to the extent that I have. Even if you live with people, right? <clears throat> you can live with a lot of people and maybe you do a lot. Maybe you do the most, right? But that's like, that's this like 
lead in that I'm getting waves of anger oh that's actually what I'm really feeling under the anger right all this like family nostalgia what family is the value of family and now we have this okay can I can I do what I can I actually find the courage to do what I need to do to honor those feelings that I'm having about family as a value or family support emotional support Bubsy Can you do it? Can you do it, Libra? I really feel like it's about unburdening your heart more than anything. But again, this could actually relate to very practical things as well. Tell me more for Libra. Some of you could be going through a phase where you just feel like your soul is tired. That is definitely a part of the collective energy we've been in, and it's hitting people at different points. It hit me a couple weeks ago, but I'm definitely seeing that for some of you. Like, actually divulging to people and asking for help and being like I, I can't I can't do this I need help anything else for Libra Ooh. okay we have psychic abilities coming out for you Libra I really like this card not just because it's about like psychic abilities but because it actually is a card that comes out almost as like a yes like a hard yes or a hard confirmation, hard confirmation, a firm, a firm confirmation on what you've been feeling is very real and what you've been feeling and experiencing is very valid. I know it sounds interesting because it's a, it's a card about psychic abilities, but the psychic abilities card does confirm that. Okay. Obviously this can imply that, you know, your intuition is at play and all of that other stuff. Um, but I feel like it's more about if you have been unsure about your own feelings or if you're doing the right thing or if you're saying the right thing or managing things the right way going into that courage mode to do what needs to be done to honor how you have been feeling especially in terms of family and support is on point okay on the bottom oh interesting we have fertility <laughs> oh excuse me ah hold on Mm. on the bottom we have the fertility card underneath that we do have peace and then we have compassion underneath that all very venetian energies so not surprising that's coming out for you that yeah at libra i just keep getting this is about the kind of experience you want to have when it comes to your relationships and even just like life in general it's like you want things to be peaceful you want things to be not so hard <laughs> You don't want to carry the weight of the world on your back and your shoulders, right? And some of you, this is just about recognizing that you you need to just get other people involved and talk to people and tell people this. You know, Libras, you guys are the mediators. You do hold. You hold the space. You hold the middle. Sometimes Libras need a break too. Sometimes Libras need to like be in Venus energy and like and receive, honestly. So Libra, I'm getting that you want to move into relationships a family experience or even just a life experience where you can receive and this is about you having the bravery the courage to say i want this how do i get this how do i tell the people in my life that i need this kind of a deal very interesting let's go ahead and use the wild unknown animal spirit deck just because it's bomb like that good he's settled it is good that he's been a little bit more rambunctious because it's like he was getting kind of it was getting a little scary for a hot minute. Um, so good, good signs, good signs. Tell me about courage for Libra. Hmm. Yeah, you're overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed. With Lizard coming out, this is my empath overload card. This is like too much. Too too much energy, too much. Being on a being on high alert, it's like I mean when you look at lizards, right? It's like they're on high alert, they move really fast, they had to adjust all the time. It's like whew. I'm speaking to Libras who are overloaded where your soul feels tired. So maybe it's just physical but you you recognize you need to do something you've been almost doing too much libra in 
<laughs> too much holding for others, too much mediating, too much anchoring, just, just too much. And it's time for you to receive more. It's time for you to unburden also your heart, right? To like even just divulge this to people. It's, it's time to do what you need to do to look out for you, okay? To move into more of that Aries energy, right? To look out for the self. Can I get a card for lighting your load? Let's see here. Oh, Libra. With light in your load, we have spider and fire ant. Spider is co-creative energy. Spider is, I'm going to get up, I'm going to plan, I'm going to network, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to I'm gonna build the web. I'm doing it. I'm doing it all. It's a little too much. And then we have fire ant. Fire ant is indicating how much this spider energy is too much for you right now. Fire ant is like five of wands. Fire ant is a discomfort and anger that can, intention that can arise when something it just is not comfortable and you're doing something you don't want to do. Your soul, whatever you've been doing that's been getting you overloaded like this, your soul does not like it. Your soul is like, stop. Please, for the love of God, stop. Please stop. Please, 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 for the love of God, stop. And I keep getting, it's like, you, I think you're going to need to ask for help here. My, it might be humbling for some of my Librans because Librans are used to offering the help, being the help. But everyone needs help sometimes. Everyone needs support sometimes. Tell me about psychic abilities. Tell me about this hard yes. I feel like this is also your soul screaming at you. Tell me about psychic abilities. Oh, yeah, it's time for fun and healing. <laughs> we have dolphin i love that dolphin is out here on the psychic abilities card dolphin is the healer card like the card of the mystic um but it's also very playful dolphin is very like think sacral like play sexual fun frolic ha just just fun dolphin people tend to be very like bright lights like everybody smiles around a dolphin person or a dolphin energy okay your soul is telling you it's it's time for a break. It's time for fun. It's time to receive. It's time for some support. You've been working. I feel like you've just been working too hard, Libra, on whatever it is you've been putting energy and effort into and that spider energy. And work doesn't have to be like work career. It could also just be things that you do for other people. It could also be things you do around the house or things you do around do for family. It's time for fun. Time for fun and frolic. Let's see what other animals want to come out. It's important to have that. Sorry, I'm going to stop. It's important to have that balance too, Libra, of fun and rest and rejuvenation because it actually does help us to be more productive in a much more efficient way, in a much more relaxed way, and not even just like a like to lessen the panic, lessen the anxiety, just like it's about balance. Life is all about balance. Everything in moderation, right? Anything else for my Librans? Um, hold on. Oh, okay. Overall energy, we have the crow and the sea serpent for sacral. Ooh, and dragonfly. Okay, there's a lot to say there, but before I, before I get there, I did get a download. Um this whole family energy. Some of you feel like you've been holding a family together. You know what? Okay, for those who resonate, you know why I'm making the face. <laughs> Just had to do it one more time. Yeah, I can see that. Holding the web together. You've been holding the web and holding the web and holding the web and holding the web. Something's got to give. Some have been holding a web that doesn't want to be held together. Just calling a spade a spade, Libra. You know, you know who you are. Attaching to a web, attach it, thank you, a network. They said that's also why it's a network. Could even be about like a group of friends or, or even a job environment. But I, I keep getting strong family stuff with you. 
it could also um bring up old family stuff and patterns if this is about like a group of friends or people or whatever etc you understand what i'm saying trying to hold this web together for those who are in that boat or attaching to this specific network or family your soul doesn't want it and even the web the network itself i don't think wants it either and that might be a hard thing for you to come to terms with but this is also why it's just like your soul's like this is why we need to prioritize us <laughs> this is why your soul is like it's what this is why we need to prioritize us and some fun and some healing and some rejuvenation okay let's get back to this overall energy with the animals it's so crazy so every time not every time but the sea serpent and dragonfly came out not this last weekly but the one before for water signs so you could be a libra scorp cusper and it was a crazy message like water signs like that one was crazy it was all about like water signs were going through this like seeding of consciousness right and i'm feeling that a little bit here for you but with crow being your overall this is a card of magic of alchemy think magician but it's surrounding your sacral that dolphin energy even the like fertility peace and compassion right that ability to receive and even give to yourself it's you're gaining a new perspective here libra that it is okay to give to yourself that there is magic and even fulfillment thank you fulfillment to be found in giving to yourself and allowing yourself to receive and not doing so much for others or trying to hold things together for others especially when they don't even want you to do that anyway underneath that interesting we do have scorpion coming out so and remember what i was saying it's like some of you are attaching to this like web and trying to hold the web and hold things together and do 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 put in all this work put in all this work whether it is career oriented or family oriented you got some resentment libra just calling this space babe you got some resentment about it it's okay i think it's important to honor that um and recognize that and i think it's also valid because I feel like I'm talking to Libras who've been doing a lot of freaking work. And for what? If it's for a goal, like, again, career-wise, I get it. But you've been doing so much work, you forgot about you. You're bound to be resentful about that. So just know that that's there, okay? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull some tarot cards, and we're going to get into part two. Lizard and courage. Why about lizard and courage? Yeah, it feels like a frazzled energy, like fried. Tell me about lizard and courage for my Libras. I was like, oh, did I? I don't know if I said a lot of fire, but I was thinking a lot of fire. King of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Leo on Leo energy for courage and lizard. It's a lot of energy. That's a lot of physical energy and exertion. And there you are fighting the good fight, putting it in and putting it in and putting it in and putting in the work and putting in the work and putting in the energy and putting in the energy, taking the lead too, as the king of wands on, on whatever the situation is for you on whatever it is you've been over giving and over devoting yourself to. It's just really emphasizing that. Tons of Leo energy. I don't know if I said the fire thing a lot. I swore I did, but y'all know how it is when you're like, you know, you know, you know. Anyway, let's go to lighten your load with spider and fire ant. You gotta stand your ground, Leo. Almost said Leo. 
might have some strong Leo in your chart. Leo's been coming out a lot in a lot of the readings and even like friends of mine who read, they've been getting a lot of weird Leo stuff. Um, I do know that Lilith in Sidereal is in Leo and she is very active. So I'm thinking that has something to do with it. But anyway, um, Page of Swords. <laughs> Feel that resentment creeping up a little bit, Libra. Just saying. Something about spider, fire ant, and lighten your load. You got to stand up for yourself and your needs. You have to. You have to. You have to, Libra. Am I taking these? No. Okay. Something about spider ant. Spider. I almost said spider ant. Something about spider, fire ant, and lighten your load for my Libras. Ooh. Can I get one more? I'm going to show you guys in a second. Yeah. Perfect, yeah, that's exactly right. So the light in your load with spider ants and oh, spider ants. <laughs> spider ants. Oh god, I hope that's not a thing. <laughs> I don't think I want to see those. With sp excuse me, spider and fire ant. We have two pages surrounding the high priestess. Page of swords, high priestess, and the page of wands. I feel like that page of swords is resentment. I gotta be honest. It is that scorpion energy creeping up. High Priestess, that is you, that is your soul, and what is behind that is desire for different, desire for new, desire for fun, for play, fun and play and venture. Can we go play now? <laughs> Please? Can we play? Can we play? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, um, anyway, moving on. Yeah, that Page of Swords is totally resentment. Uh, dolphin and Psychic Abilities. It's like, okay, let me show you the layers here. This is the surface of what you got going on and what people are seeing. They see the page of swords. They see frustration. They see a little bit of irritation. They see some feistiness, but it's like very logical. It's very like practical. It's very black and white. What's behind that? Oh, oops. What's behind that is you. It's you as, as the high priestess, someone who is very wizened, um, someone who's very aware of themselves, but for some reason you're putting snooze on your inner child here. You're putting snooze on the part of you that really needs so, some fun time, okay? All right, might be snapping at people too. Tell me about dolphin and psychic abilities. <laughs> Nine of cups, happy, happy, happy time. Happy, happy time. Emotional fulfillment. Get yeah, a little bit of healing off at Nine of Cups too, actually, which I don't normally get. Tell me about dolphin and psychic abilities for Libra. Come back here. Oh. Oh, part two is gonna be interesting. For psychic abilities, dolphin and the Nine of Cups. This awareness of you need happiness, you need some joy, you need some pleasure. You are Venus, after all. You need to receive some pleasure. We got the tower. Hmm. I know. Intriguing. The tower coming out here, towers can be epiphanies, changes, um, endings even. But no matter what flavor they're coming in, it is a sudden shift into a different reality. Because you have an epiphany or a surprise happens, or something falls apart. I'm feeling epiphany and surprise, actually. I'm feeling, yeah, I feel epiphany and surprise with you. Definitely, again, with psychic abilities too, just like that confirmation of, oh no, this is right. Like, I do need this. I do need to stand up for myself. I do need to honor my needs. I do need to have some fun and chill out and just relax and recoup. But I feel surprised too. We gotta, okay. Again, part two is gonna be fascinating. On the bottom, we do got Nine of Swords. Mm. Ooh. With two, ooh. <laughs> With Knight of Cups, Two of Swords, and the Knight of Swords. It's a lot of angst over what to do. I think you're gonna fight yourself as Libras tend to do. You're gonna fight yourself on this just like you're fighting the, pa the, the pages are fighting. They're both the pages are you, just like those knights are you. 
Yeah, it's like you're gonna fight yourself until until something gives or just like hits you and it just hits you out of nowhere. Like, oh no no, I need to do this. Like, I need to. Very interesting. All right, we're gonna dive into part two and get deeper. Um, if this is where you depart, I hope that you enjoyed this reading and I hope you found it insightful and helpful. And I will see you guys later. And if you're gonna join me for part two, I'm gonna see you in a second. Okay, take care, guys. Namaste.